Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be repotting my croton and also looking at repotting chrysanthemums as well. If you want them to be beautiful in the fall season, then we have to make sure that they're in the proper size container. So I'm going to be going over that. I'm Marlene and welcome to my home and garden channel. So you may ask, you know, how do you know when it's time to repot your croton or any other perennials that you might have? Well, in this case, you may notice that the, there's a lot of branching happening on the top of this plant. And when you compare the, you know, how many leaves there are and the branching, you'll see that it's really kind of top heavy. You know, there are new leaves coming out. So that means the plant is in a healthy stage right now. So it's a good time to plant it. Also too, there may be roots coming out from the bottom of the pot. Then that's a clear sign that it's time for you to repot. Sometimes too, if you're watering and the water runs out very quickly, then that also is a good sign that you need to change it. So right here now you'll see that it's not that much larger than the other one. It's typically recommended that you go up one to three inches as far as, you know, getting a larger pot goes. And that's just so the plant won't get shocked, you know, when you move it from one to the other. Of course, if you're going to be putting other, you know, if you're going to be putting other plants in there as well, then you can always go a little bit bigger. And this is actually a self-watering pot and I love that because it means that I don't have to water it as frequently. Speaking of watering, here's my watering can that I'm going to be using and my troll and my potting mix as well as my mulch and in this case I'm using pine bark mulch. You know river rocks might be a good idea too if you're trying to get that tropical feel or you can even, um, you know, use other different types of mulch. So first thing that I typically do is to go ahead, even though the soil is moist, and just add a little bit more water to it. And that actually helps, you know, to ease the plant out. And so especially if the roots are coming out from the bottom, then it definitely, you know, it helps um, to prevent the roots from getting damaged. And I'm just wanting to show you here, you know, how it matches up so that, you know, you can see relatively the change in size. So we're going to go ahead and ease the plant out. And sometimes it may, you know, take a little bit of effort, but just, you know, go gently, take your time and get the plant out. And now let's take a look at the roots here, guys. See all of that? All of those roots that are in there. But you'll notice so that they have a nice light color. So that means that they're healthy so they can all stay in there. And then we'll just kind of match it off. It's a little bit high right here, so I'm going to have to go in and get some of the soil out because basically we'll need to have a little gap above it. So that way um, we can put a little mulch in and it's not going to be running over the top. And I'm basically just easing the roots out a little bit, not too much, because there are some plants that really hate when you mess with the roots too much, but just a little bit. And they will actually find their way, you know, over time they will spread right out so i'm going to go ahead and get that in there and a good thing to to bear in mind when you're planting is to make sure that you do it maybe in the morning or in the evening when the weather is a little bit cooler so there's a close-up guys of you know how it looks as far as the space between them so i'm going to go ahead and get that filled in with the potting mix and guys, if you love gardening, you know, I do a lot of gardening videos. Of course, I also do decorating videos. I just love pretty things around my home, whether it's inside the garden or inside my home. So if you like those things, you know, I hope that you will hit the subscribe button and tap on the notification bell twice for future home and garden topics. And that way they get suggested to you and you can decide, you know, which ones you want to watch. And it also will show you past ones as well, too, just depending on, you know, what you might need so I'm just going ahead and filling it in here with the potting soil so we're looking good so far and I did water it and then the next thing I want to do now is to add the mulch on top of it and just gently work my way around and so I typically you know like I said water it before so that way it gets a really good soak and then after I've placed the mulch in then I'll go in and I will water it again 
and I'd love to see your comments guys if you've grown you know multiple crotons if this is the first one if you're thinking about it you could try to decide um, if you want to get one or not I love them you know in the summertime when they're outdoors but they're also beautiful to um, inside because I do bring mine in I've had this one maybe like for about three years now so it has grown quite a bit you know I keep it in during the winter and then I bring it back out in the spring and it looks good you know with the other plants on my porch you know both for the spring and summer and then when the fall comes it is so beautiful beside the chrysanthemums like you've seen in the picture before there so we pretty much fill it in nicely there so this is the old we're gonna be out with the old and in with the new and I think the plant is quite happy right now it's looking real good and so a good thing to do you know after you've had it for maybe a week or two is to take it and give it a nice rinse It's really good to just, you know, give it a nice rinse because sometimes dust collects on there. You may have small, you know, bugs on there. And if you just go ahead and give it that nice rinse, it is so good for the plant. Or sometimes too, you know, you can just put it out in the rain when the rain is falling. And that way it gets it straight from nature. And now it's on to our chrysanthemums, guys. So... In the fall we have these beautiful colors coming out and there are so many different varieties this is one of my favorite flowers too and I'll put a link in the end at the end to show you you know how to care for them but right now this is what mine looks like this one was repotted previously it doesn't look like a whole lot right now but it is healthy and you know this is where it really needs to be sometimes I actually get blooms in the summertime too um, not many but you know I'll trim them back and then they'll come up again and these are my begonias right here and I do bring those indoors you know during the winter and they do come back up for me again so sometimes I actually have to repot those as well too and there's a small chrysanthemum that one was repotted from a four inch pot previously so I don't need to do anything with that one right now and so here we have the croton guys in this little spot right here few more leaves came in because this is like two weeks since I did the repotting and I did put it in this planter right here it's getting a little washed out so I'm gonna have to paint it over and I'd love to see your suggestions as to what color you think would go really well with that or maybe even two colors because it has a little pattern in the middle here and I did want to also give you an update on my impatience you may remember them from my previous um, spring porch, porch refresh video this is what they look like then and they have spread out as you can see there are quite a few flowers on there I think it's doing really well and I'm so pleased with it I could have probably maybe put more than one color in there but this is fine you know I think it works really well and now guys let's move on to indoor plants so if your plants are indoors the same rule applies as far as repotting them however you wouldn't need to have any mulch and also they typically grow, grow slower when they're inside so um, you probably won't need to do that you know as frequently as the ones that go outdoors but definitely worth considering for your indoor plants as well and here are some beautiful croton guys I just wanted to leave you with these these are from a trip that we took in the past to the Bahamas and this is them in their natural habitat you know growing out there nice and lush these were maybe like about six feet tall but since we can't have them like that if we're not in a tropical area we can certainly bring them on in in our little pots and enjoy them that way I do thank you so much for watching I'll hope to see you in the next video and enjoy the rest of your day <music>